Regarding the question about the volume dots getting too big when the trading session starts, okay, let's take a look at the S&P E-mini. Uh, you can see the pre-market data here uh, and the, the small volume dots, and then the dots get really big at the cash open here at 930. Okay, the, the dots are in reference to each other, so uh, a big dot here uh, represents a lot of volume. If I look here, that fourth line of text tells me that the volume here on this big dot was... Uh, uh, 9,446 contracts, okay, in reference to this one where it's 4,963, all right, uh, but maybe these are too big, so what you can do is just click on studies configuration on volume dots here, uh, and then just the, there's a slider here for the, uh, for the size, okay, and just bring that down, all right, Okay, so that's the first part of your question. The second part, um, you don't understand how to use the dots. Okay, well, they're clustered right now. By default, they're, they're clustered uh, by this smart algo. Um, and let me explain that smart algo by uh, some of the other ones first. So you can also um, uh, cluster them by time. And uh, let's look at every five minutes. Okay, so volume dot is produced every five minutes. And you can see it is... Um, uh, VWAP related, so it, right here is the center, this is the VWAP, uh, it's outside of the historical best bid and offer, uh, but uh, you can see the overall delta of it as well. So this big dot here accounts for all the volume that took place uh, between the last five minutes. All right, that's straightforward. Let's go over the um, by volume though, okay, and let's uh, input 20,000. Okay, so here uh, a volume dot is produced and they're all the same size because they account for 20,000 contracts that traded. Okay, and it, they're VWAP um, related uh, and they're also, you can see the pie display is giving you the overall delta of the buy versus sell. So there's more buying volume here uh, that took place. Um, okay, so that's pretty, pretty straightforward uh, as well. So then the smart algo, um, uh, clustering, uh, what that does is it's a combination of both time and volume. So where a significant amount of uh, volume traded within um, a pretty short uh, time, uh, then then uh, the the dots going to be produced. Okay, so you're you're getting the best of both worlds uh, just to um, you know give you that uh, that reference uh, that might give more insight to the area. Uh, and what you can do, though, is you, you can um, influence, or the circle of influence, you can make it bigger or smaller, okay, with that algo. So when I start to slide this slider here to the right, um, it's going to account for a bigger area and all of the, uh, the volume within that area and give me the overall VWAP uh, as well as um, the, uh, the delta here, all right? So that's the um, smart algo. Um, and maybe uh, this one helps you. It gives you insight. Uh, maybe you like this view, but then you want to bring down the dot size. Just, just bring down the dot slider. All right. Hope that answers your question.